What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new TCS Studios video. Today we finally have the iPad 9th generation here to unbox and I know a lot of people have already done this who always get early access to new Apple stuff but this is pretty much the time when everyone else gets it. So um, I'm just a regular person. I ordered this from Best Buy, which probably delayed the process a little bit, honestly. Um, but it's finally here. I've been running with this iPad Air 2 um, for the last few weeks just to acquaint myself with um, how iPad OS is since I've been out of the game since uh, 2017. I had the uh, 2017 iPad. And that one was uh, kind of a little bit watered down compared to an iPad 2 at the time, iPad Air 2. And so I'm finally ready to jump into a new iPad again. This one pretty much does everything I need it to. It does have the occasional hiccup and we're nearing the end of support for this. So this gets uh, iPad OS 15, uh, but that is probably the end of the road for the iPad Air 2. And to be honest with you, I haven't updated this one yet. Um, I'm just worried about it getting slowed down even more, so we'll see what happens. But uh, today we're here to look at the new iPad 9th generation. So let's get into the unboxing portion of the video. Um, so let's see. I'm pretty sure this is the same as last year with the packaging. Uh, we have a side profile on the front, just iPad on the sides and ninth generation. I just went with the 64 gig. That's what my iPad Air 2 is. And I think that's a good sweet spot for a device that's not your primary. Um, my iPhone is only using about 70 gigs um, right now. And my iPad, this one already is, is only using, you know, about 15 gigs or so. So I don't need an insane amount of storage. Um, if you are someone that doesn't use iCloud, then you probably should go with the 256. But anyway, that's just showing you ninth generation Wi-Fi. This is the silver model. Um, I was pretty sad that they went away with the white fronts uh, this year, um, but you know what? It's a change, so it's gonna be pretty cool to have a black front on a silver device for the first time. So without further ado, let's go ahead. I've got my multi-tool, that's my only knife I have right now. And we are gonna do this the Apple snob way. As I mentioned in my iPad, uh, I'm sorry, in my Mac Mini M1 unboxing of how we like to preserve the front plastic And as you can see right there, we have this, I believe this is new. I don't, I don't remember this on my other one. Um, kind of this matte finish uh, wrapper. And in the accessories box, we finally get one of these 20 watt chargers um, and a standard length uh, USB-C to lightning. Um, a lot of people are upset about keeping the lightning on this one. Um, for me, I really don't have any USB-C devices, so it hasn't been a big problem. I can keep my iPhone and my iPad on the same charger. I already have a 20 watt with the, um, whatever it is, the six foot charger at my desk. So this will make it um, a lot more convenient to not have a USB-C uh, sitting around and a lightning sitting around so This I actually don't need to get out of the box for now. I'm gonna leave it in there And in here just real quickly Apple stickers Warranty information quick start. We are all know what that's about And 
we will pull this plastic off. And go ahead and get our first boot starting. Now I do have a case for this one ordered and screen protector. Um, so for now, I won't be taking it anywhere, which, you know, I usually don't need to take my iPad out somewhere. I like using it at home, watching movies in bed, responding to messages, web surfing. So it's not a big deal. I have a case arriving soon, but in the meantime, my iPad Air 2 is disgusting in comparison, but I've always wondered the difference between the 10.2 and the 9.7. It's very marginal. We do have a marginal size increase on the new one as well. Um, it's unfortunate we don't have the laminated display, and that would in turn give us this, you know, super thin design which I really love about the iPad Air 2 and why I was using it um, without a case. This one already has some uh, scratches and stuff, so I just really love using this one with no case. Um, this one, since it is brand new, I have a slim silicone case and a screen protector on the way. Um, but for now, I'm going to get it set up, see if I can transfer my information from this one, and we will be back with a closing statement. All right, guys, well, this is pretty much the end of the video. We have the iPad set up. I just did the transfer from my iPad Air 2 here, and I don't know what's going on. That's not turning on. Oh, there we go. Anyway, I typically like all my apps like this. I don't have any widgets or anything. And after I transferred it over, I did not do anything uh, different and it added like this photos widget and a bunch of stuff at the top so we're gonna have to take that off right away I don't I don't like widgets um, for, for iOS I don't know why but um, yeah one thing I noticed is that the edges on this are not polished and they're a tiny bit thinner um, which I think is gonna be a nicer long-lasting design it's more simple and these, you know, chamfered, you know, shiny, polished edges tend to scratch a lot. Um, this one's not too bad, but I know that that typically happens. So, um, that's pretty much the end of the video. I do want to do a full comparison. I don't know why, but this, this kind of seems like a, a device that a lot of people might be upgrading from. Uh, who like to keep their devices for as long as possible. Um, and it's kind of the end of the road for the iPad Air 2, so um, we'll have a full comparison video of this soon. Uh, but for now, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next one.